Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from Agamet Soft Research Company and here we have a super simple and easy tutorial uh, for you. So we're gonna calculate a range in Excel. So range is basically as you can see here equals subtracting minimum number of a data set from maximum number. So it's super simple and easy. Let's get to our data set here let's say we have a bunch of numbers uh, of course when you are you know you're watching your data set and it's uh, a little um, small you can uh, visually see which number is like um, the smallest and which one is the largest so you can just subtract them and that's all but what if we have a larger data set and we cannot just visually check which one is the smallest which one is the biggest in this situation we're going to use max and mean functions in excel so if you're a little uh you know familiar with excel you can use it uh you can need i mean you can do it in just one cell so you're gonna first put an equal mark then type max and you can find it here returns the largest value instead of values ignores logical values in text so double click on that and then i simply get my all range then i close the parenthesis and here i put a minus sign then I go for typing min. So minimum, you can see, returns the smallest number in a set of values, ignores logical values and text. I double click on that also, and then again, select my, uh, my uh, range. I close the parentheses and click enter, and you can see this is my range. So this is um, the, uh, actually, difference between the smallest and largest value in Excel. If you cannot do it, you know, like this, you can um, make it easier a little bit. So you just need one cell to put Excel equal mark, then go for maximum, select the range, close the parenthesis, hit enter, and in the other cell, go for again equal mark, type minimum, then double click on that, select the range, close the parenthesis, hit enter, and here just go for subtracting the smallest from the largest. And you can see the result is of course the same. And so if you want to make it more, uh, you know, complicated and if you want to apply some rules, some limitations, you can use functions like maxif and minif in Excel. Um, you can use them in order to apply some, uh, you know, rules, you know, calculate the mean if the, the, the blah, 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 if some rules and calculate this maximum if something else happens so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video and bye